2024 Hyundai Kona Electric. Starting at $34.010. Highs. Roomier inside than previous generation model, decent driving range with larger battery, agreeable road manners. Lows. Pokey performance, entry level battery has disappointing range, puny front trunk storage area. Verdict. The second generation Kona Electric builds on its predecessor's strengths with a stylish new look and a roomier interior. Overview The newest iteration of the Hyundai Kona Electric is meant to turn heads. And it will. Beginning its second generation as a more cyborg inspired fully electric crossover, the new Kona Electric's design makes the last five years of the Kona look like a total yawn. The 2024 Kona has grown in length, width, and wheelbase resulting in more space, room for a larger battery, and a smoother ride. The maximum driving range is up to, though only barely, to an estimated 260 miles. The Kona Electric is front-wheel drive only and the two battery packs offered, differ in output by 133 and 201 horsepower. The gas-powered Kona, reviewed separately, also gets a complete overhaul for 2024. What's new for 2024? The 2024 model marks the beginning of an all-new generation of the Hyundai Kona Electric. It's longer, wider, and uses a longer wheelbase to maximize its utility. A fresh new look makes the 2024 Kona Electric unmistakably different from the outgoing model. With wide-spanning LED headlights and tail lights, the theme for the new Kona is pixels. Pricing and which one to buy. The price of the 2024 Hyundai Kona Electric starts at $34.010 and goes up to $42.380 depending on the trim and options. SE. $34,010. Sell. $38,010. Limited. $42,380. The cell trim offers a variety of standard equipment that the base SE misses out on. Its heated front seats are an important feature for areas that experience low temperatures but are not necessary everywhere. All three trim levels are equipped with the same battery pack and the same permanent magnet synchronous AC motor. EV motor, power, and performance. All Kona electrics are front-wheel drive and powered by a single electric motor. The entry-level offering makes 133 horsepower but a more powerful 201 HP version is available too. We had a chance to briefly test drive the more powerful of the two in Europe. Acceleration felt perky the Kona Electric lacks the neck snapping satisfaction we've come to expect from other EVs. Handling is competent but the Kona's clearly been tuned with comfort in mind, and the quiet operation of the electric powertrain and the isolated cabin make it an easy-going commuter. When we tested the previous generation Kona Electric, we recorded a 60 miles per hour time of 6.4 seconds. Although this new version is slightly more powerful, we estimate it will ultimately prove slightly pokier. When we get a chance, we'll take the new one to our test track and update the story with test results and more driving impressions. Range, Charging, and Battery Life The Kona Electric offers two different battery packs. The base Kona Electric uses a 48.6 kWh unit with an estimated range of about 200 miles. A larger 64.8 kWh battery is available and bumps the estimated driving range to about 260 miles. Hyundai claims that the Kona Electric can recharge its battery pack from 10% to 80% in 43 minutes during DC charging. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo the new Kona Electric receives a massive improvement in fit and finish for the new generation. To elevate the subcompact EV from an eco-friendly feeling box, Hyundai opens up the interior space with a floating horizontal center pad to remove some of the division between front passenger seats. Ambient lighting also brings a little bit of moodiness and personalization to the cabin that helps illuminate the new Kona's fresh cockpit design. Unlike other EVs, the Kona Electric offers only a small front trunk suitable for storing the SUV's portable charging cables. Luckily, there's a much larger cargo area behind the rear seats. Infotainment and Connectivity 
To stay competitive in the Pixel Wars, the new Kona Electric is outfitted with two 12.3-inch displays to handle vehicle info and infotainment. This new seamless unit replaces the previous generation's standard 8.0-inch touchscreen and is larger than the available 10.3-inch display. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will likely be standard equipment. Safety and Driver Assistance Features Hyundai hasn't officially released all of the Kona Electric's standard and optional features, but we suspect it will come with the same suite of driver assistance features as the gasoline-powered Kona. That package of features includes automated emergency braking and blind spot monitoring, but other tech such as a driver monitoring system and a self-parking feature are also available. For more information about the Kona Electric's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IIHS, websites. Key safety features are likely to include Standard automated emergency braking. Standard lane departure warning with lane keeping assist. Available adaptive cruise control. Warranty and maintenance coverage. Hyundai's warranty coverage is legendary at this point, and the Kona EV benefits further from a 3 year 36,000 mile complimentary scheduled maintenance plan. Like other EVs, the Kona Electric has no oil, oil filter, or spark plugs to change so the complimentary scheduled maintenance includes tire rotation, cabin air filter changes, and a variety of different system inspections. Limited warranty covers 5 years or 60,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers 10 years or 100,000 miles. Battery warranty covers 10 years or 100,000 miles. Complimentary maintenance is covered for 3 years or 36,000 miles.